Hello, Lucky with another farming video. Today is going to be low level farming, which you can do as any character. We're just going to farm some converter ingredients. These are all elemental based. You just need to have the right element or even neutral. So we'll start from a rock and we'll go two fields down. I have a teleport ring, or a serret earring. You can use a creamy card or you can just walk if you have to. Uh, this is again for people with no funds or low levels. Now these are very weak monsters. These are scorpions. They have about like 150 health. As you can see we're farming the scorpion tail. And really that's it. Uh, the only problem with farming here is you'll see uh, some aggressive monster called Dragonfly which I'll show you in a minute. And there's also the elusive monsters which are a little bit stronger but they still die using one or two hits. And there's the elusive monster now, that one with the blue ring. As you can see, I'm going to kill it one hit anyway. As always, teleport makes things easier, you just don't have to. These guys are fire elements, so bring along your water weapon or your water converters. Here is the dragonfly, what it looks like, how to defeat it. It's using area of attack skill, area of effect skill, it's usually pretty weak, but uh, it has a lot of moss, so you don't have a good target to hit. Once you're done, just keep on farming like normal. It responds very rarely, but again, it's just a weak monster. So next up is the Amber Knight. It's a snail, basically a giant snail. It's almost the size of you. It is uh, weak to wind because it's a water monster, so bring a water or neutral type weapon. And again, it's very weak, just 800, 600 health, something along those lines. It is two maps west or left of Prontera. Once you're there, just start farming them again. One hit, maybe two hits, depending on how strong you are or what skill you're using. And there's going to be the elusives again. They take maybe two hits, even for me, with a weak skill I'm using and the weapon that's just melee because I don't have much strength or modifiers for it. As you can see here, blue outline again. Another monster coming up is going to be Vocal. He's just like the Dragonfly. He's a weak monster, but he has lots of mobs surrounding him. Just try and take out him, take him out with a area of effect skill, and that way you can take out him and all of his mobs. He's usually hanging around in the same area. As you can see here, we're farming the snail's shell. It's used for water converters. I forgot to mention the uh, scorpion tail is used for fire. I'll show you all four, but. Uh, just in a minute. And there's the vocal. Luckily you can take him out across the water with a cart cannon or ranged attack. And then just keep farming like normal. So next up is the Stainer, he's the wind monster for the wind converter. Bring your earth element weapons. They are located one map east or right of Prontera, and then one map up or north from there. Again using teleport just to get closer. This map is a little annoying because of all the trees and it's very hard to see the stainers, but luckily they're able to be heard quite well from that buzzing. It's also creamy on this map, so make sure you're farming for cards. And the map, the monster that you'll find in this map is called Eclipse. It has all the mobs again. 
Once again, those deal loses. They aren't uh, too much of a threat. Once you find the Eclipse, just use an area of effect attack. I think it's a neutral mob. So use any kind of attack other than Ghost. As I'll show in a second. And here is the Eclipse. It's basically a blue lunatic. Or bunny. And once you've killed that, just keep farming like normal. Next up we have the Earth Monster, Horn, for the Earth Converter. Bring along a fire weapon, and or a neutral weapon. You'll need to go to the Warper for this one, then the Dungeons, and then Coal Mine for the easiest way. Basically exit the Coal Mine as soon as you get there, and start killing Horns. They're a little stronger than the other monsters, they don't die in one hit from some skills and attacks, if you're using a weak skill or attack. But there's nothing else to fear here other than Elder Willows. There's no big mobby monsters, but the Elder Willows are aggressive, so be aware of them. Just make sure that you have some sort of alternate weapon as they are strong to fire. Make sure you kill them quickly, and make sure that they don't use their firebolt skills on you. This has been the tutorial on how to farm easy money at a low level. Thank you, and goodbye.